Before we attach our leg line elastic, you might want to just trim back some of the sequins along this leg line edge. Um, because this part does just get turned under on this style, the sequins can be scratchy. So what I do is I take a pair of scissors with a nice sharp point and I just snip some of the threads. So I'm just taking off probably about, I'm taking off the sequins that so that I've got a quarter of an inch area along this line that doesn't have any sequins on them. So this is kind of tricky and time consuming. You can skip this part, but your leg line edge might just be a little bit scratchy. So if you can see here, I'm getting an area that has no sequins on it at all. And this is going to be the area that actually gets folded in and will be against your skin. So you want that area to be soft. Another option would be to finish this edge with um, fold over elastic. That's what I do when I use the Grace Panties pattern to use uh, with sequin fabric over the hips, is I just completely bind the uh, waistline and leg line in elastic. And that solves the problem of having scratchy sequins against your skin. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to apply some elastic along just between along the sequin fabric and the gusset edge. So this is why it's important that your sequin fabric and gusset extend beyond the lace by about a quarter of an inch because the elastic's going to get attached and then folded under. So I'm applying this just regular elastic to the leg line of the panties. So basically just to the gusset area and that sequin part. So this is why we've got that little quarter of an inch extension. The elastic's getting attached onto there. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. So this elastic is just meant to stabilize this edge. You don't want to really pull on it too much. cut it off here. I don't finish this edge. I don't do anything fancy to it. So you can see from the inside I've got this elastic running along either side and it stops at the lace. So now you can use a twin needle to top stitch it down to basically fold it over and hem it. Um, you could finish this edge with a zigzag and turn it under. You could use a cover stitch or you could just zigzag it. I'm going to use a twin needle. So working from the right side of your fabric, just turn this under. And here's where you want to make sure that this turned under edge lines up nice and neatly with the scalloped edge. So that was where in our previous step that extra quarter of an inch overhang comes into place. And here we will be stitching through the sequins, so go nice and slow. If you still have a lot of sequins that are overhanging, you can just trim them off so that they're not scratching against you when you wear these. Sorry, you can probably hear my dog barking and my daughter playing upstairs. Okay. So I do a little back tack. And make sure you've switched your machine off of zigzag and back to straight stitch. So again, go really slow over the sequins. I've had lots of times where I've been zooming along and my needle breaks or a sharp piece of sequin flies off and hits me in the face. I really don't want anyone getting injured. 
remember in sewing class in high school, everyone had to wear safety goggles. Surprisingly enough, I actually never took sewing class in high school. Then when you get to that gusset seam, just back tack again to anchor that in place. So there's that edge now nice and finished. Then on the inside it looks nice and finished. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So just folding that elasticized edge under and back tack in place. So it's almost done already. All you have to do is finish your waistline edge with some fold over elastic.